guys welcome back to my channel um i am here today to catch up on devotionals with you um this is dating back to the 26th which was thursday and thursday's devotional is titled words that reflect as communicators we often deliver speeches when we think we're engaged in conversation. When someone does speak, we're just formulating our response. Our words are not about connection, they're about us. But your words should always be about connection. Even when you keep a journal or speak to yourself to solitude, there's still someone addressed yourself. Your words should connect you to who you are as well as connect you to others. For this to happen, your words should reflect. You should be God's words and let your words reflect His. In communicating with others, your words still should reflect. You can share the loftiest words imaginable, love, peace, joy, but if those words aren't a reflection of the listener's needs, understanding, or ways of speaking, then you might as well be speaking to a brick wall. Communication should be communal. And the verse for this is, Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. James chapter 1, verse 19. And Friday's devotional, which was May the 27th, 2022, is titled, Words of Life. What's wrong with our words? Our words have become empty. We speak more slang than substance. Our profanities aren't just offensive to grandmothers and church ladies. They describe our lowest anim animal instincts. Our words have become hurtful. We gossip about others when they're not around. We speak with sarcasm disrespect, or indifference when they are. However subtle, our speech raises us up and puts others down. If you're yearning for what's wrong to be made right, start with your words. Are they lazy and empty, or are they intentional and full of meaning? Are they thinly veiled strategy to pat yourself on the back while throwing others under the bus? Or are they words that reflect, words that seek to, he to honor and respect others, whether they're in your presence or not? Words were the first source of life itself. Communicate words of life. And a verse for this is, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen, those who listen. Ephesians chapter four, verse 29. In Saturday's devotional, which was May the 28th, 2022, is titled, The Right Words in a Wrong World. What's wrong can be made right again, but what's right has never been absent. It can be found in the quiet words of our counselor to someone rocked with guilt and shame. Or when a bullied child is praised by his teacher for his work on a class project. Or when you're about to give up 
but here are the words from above. I'm not done with you yet. What is the communication of your life? Is it that because there's so much wrong with the world, there's no use in trying? That we should still, that we should all just look out for number one? If so, you'll have little problem communicating with others who speak the same language. Your words, are, your words won't matter. No matter how long the world is, the right words have been spoken from the beginning. They're near you. Perhaps they're even on the tip of your tongue. So try it. Speak the right words and watch how they will change your world. And a verse for this is, the word is very, near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart, so you may obey it. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 14. And yesterday, the twenty uh, May 29th, 2022, is titled, Practicing the Principle of Presence. In the movie Harvey, Elwood P. Dowd is a man whose family tries to commit him to a mental asylum for believing in a large invisible rabbit. But Elwood proves to be saner than anyone. That's because despite his odd ways, he understands the principle of presence. No matter who he meets, that person is the most important person in the world. He puts people at ease makes them feel important and invites virtually everyone over for dinner. Most people live life somewhere else. The past, the future. They're distracted by paying bills or measuring up or fitting in. So it's no wonder what other people are mere objects to be ignored or obstacles they trip over on their way to nowhere. The life that matters is lived in no other place than here, now, with you. Practice the principle of presence and let the rest of the world live in the asylum. And a verse for this is, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. And today, which is May the 30th, 2022, is titled, There You Are. It's been said that there are two kinds of people. Here I am people, and there you are people. The here I am people are usually outgoing and fun to be around, but really they're about calling attention to themselves and have little interest in noticing others. Those around them are an audience and a little more. The there you are people, however, call attention to you. They greet you like they haven't seen you in years. They lift your spirits with their warmth and interest. It's clear that there's no other place they would rather be than there with you. The first step to being present with people is admitting whether your first instinct is to notice others or in your outgoing or even shy ways to prefer what they notice you. Real presence is found in putting others first on your radar and reminding them that they matter. In a verse for this is, I have much to write to you, but I do not want to use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to visit you and talk with you face to face. Second John chapter one verse twelve. So I hope you enjoyed these devotionals. Sorry, I've been slacking a little bit. Um, but I just want to remind you that um, 
you know, family life is one of the most important things to me right now. And um, there's no replacing family. Um, I know I have my internet family, my YouTube family, but my family here is for, first and foremost very important to me. So please accept my apologies if I haven't been on. Um, but for the people that are new who have joined my channel, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're new, please like, subscribe, share this out, leave a comment. Um, you know, get to know each other. Um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to bring this to a close. Please stay positive, stay safe, stay healthy, be blessed, and I will see you all soon. Mwah. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Happy Memorial Day to the ones who are serving, the ones who have served, and I thank you all for your service. Till then, I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Peace out.